From the heart of the So What District in downtown Santa Cruz, it's the So What Update with Katie Couric. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Katie Couric. Good evening. I'm Katie Couric. The Santa Cruz City Council voted Tuesday to publish an op-ed piece in the Sentinel and other local media outlets concerning the importance of sexual harassment prevention training for city employees. A member of the public, who also sits on the Commission for Prevention of Violence Against Women, had this to say. In any institution, a, a profit or no profit, educative, is, is, is the way to go. No harassment. And we have to be really aware about that. And we have to talk about that at any level. We will be intimidated because it's seven to one. That's just like a habit to come in to say, I want to be revised the letter again because I don't want to, I don't agree on feeling doing harassment. This was the only comment of the evening that required translation into English as well as Spanish. Council member Mike Rodkin responded with this remark. Some of the folks uh, who've spoken to the council over the past couple of months about sexual harassment issues seem to be taking the position that it wasn't that big a deal. We were, we were blowing something small into something big. Advocating for small class sizes, council member Lynn Robinson commented that if trainings are too large, they can be hard to take. She further noted that if you've never been to a training before, it can be particularly painful. Apparently taking umbrage at this remark, Ed Porter hit back, saying, it's not the size of the training, but what you do with it. At this point, Ryan Coonerty interjected, insisting that they return to the main thrust of the conversation. He added that even if this was a premature publication, it was too late to pull out now. The council then took a 20-minute recess before returning for a second round. Wow. Can you believe I got through that whole thing without mentioning Tony Madrigal? <laughs> Damn. First of all, so the city manager doesn't just like, you know, take me out and give me a whipping 